Measuring temperature. Let's start by asking the question, what is temperature? Temperature is a measure of how hot or cold something is. The weather can sometimes be hot and sometimes it can be cold. A hot place will have a high temperature and a cold place will have a low temperature. As well as measuring the temperature of the air around us, we can also measure the temperature of lots of things, including liquids, food, and even the temperature of our bodies. When our body temperature rises, it can be a sign that we're unwell. A thermometer is used to measure temperature. Here we have lots of different types of thermometer. Have you seen any thermometers like these before? These thermometers all measure temperature in degrees Celsius. This is the unit of measure that we generally use to measure temperature. In some parts of the world, it's measured using degrees Fahrenheit. But in this nugget, we'll stick with measuring temperature using degrees Celsius. Degrees Celsius can be written like this. This is the symbol for degrees and a capital C is used for Celsius. Now let's look at a common thermometer like this one. This thermometer contains a special red liquid. The temperature affects how far the liquid travels up the thermometer. The hotter the temperature, the higher the liquid will rise. The red line has reached 20, so this thermometer shows that the temperature is 20 degrees Celsius. This is a comfortable room temperature. If you're inside and it doesn't seem too hot or too cold, the temperature is probably close to 20 degrees Celsius. Now let's look at measuring the temperature in some different rooms around a school. In the hall, the temperature is 18 degrees Celsius. We know this because the red liquid in the thermometer has reached 18 on the scale. In the kitchen, the temperature is a little warmer. The red liquid has risen up the thermometer, reaching 23 degrees Celsius. Now it's your turn. What is the temperature in the classroom? Pause the video if you need to. The temperature in the classroom is 19 degrees Celsius. Well done if you got that correct. Thermometers will have different scales on them depending on what temperatures they're being used to measure. Sometimes some of the numbers will be missing from the scale, so you have to read them very carefully. Let's look at these three thermometers starting with the first one. The scale on this thermometer goes up to 30 and the numbers on the scale go up in twos. Now let's look at where the red liquid gets to on the scale. It's between 10 and 12. What number is between 10 and 12? Well done if you knew that 11 is between 10 and 12. So the temperature shown on this thermometer is 11 degrees Celsius. Now let's look at the next thermometer. This one goes all the way up to 100 and it goes up in tens. The red liquid reaches the scale between 50 and 60. Halfway between 50 and 60 is 55. So the thermometer shows 55 degrees Celsius. The final thermometer goes up in tens, but each ten is split 
into five small parts. Can you work out what each little line on the scale goes up in? As 10 is split into five equal parts, this means that each part is worth two. So if we count up to the red line in twos from 30, we have 32, 34. The temperature is 34 degrees Celsius. Now it's your turn to have a go at reading these thermometers. Pause the video and have a go. The numbers on the first thermometer go up in tens, but the little lines go up in twos. So, the temperature shown on this thermometer is 26 degrees Celsius. On the next one, the red line is halfway between 70 and 80. So the temperature shown on this thermometer is 75 degrees Celsius. On the final thermometer, the red line is halfway between 16 and 18. So the temperature shown is 17 degrees Celsius. Well done if you got all of those correct. So remember, temperature is a measure of how hot or cold something is. A hot place will have a high temperature and a cold place will have a low temperature. Temperature is measured using a thermometer in degrees Celsius. Thermometers have different scales, so check the scale carefully before reading the temperature.